Isang magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Narito muli si Mamsi para sa panibagong talakayan tungkol sa parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines ng Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 1. Tara at samahan ninyo akong pag-aralan ito. Look at the picture of the light rail transit or LRT. Have you seen or ridden in one before? Oh, maybe yes, maybe not. But let's think of this. Why do you think two trains can operate at the same time without colliding with each other and causing an accident? Aha! It is because their train tracks stay at the same direction between them and do not meet at any point. Wait! What do you mean by do not meet at any point? Oh, let me explain that through this example. Let's study this. Kung i-represent natin ang train tracks gamit ang lines, it will look like this figure. Now, ang pair of lines na ito ay tinatawag nating parallel lines. So, when we say parallel lines, these are pairs or group of lines that never met at any point. Ibig sabihin, Humaba man or umikli ang line ito, hindi magkakaroon ng chance na mag-cross ang line. That's why ang train or ang LRT, kahit magkasalubong sila, hindi nagkakaroon ng chance na magkasalpukan o mabangga sila sa isa't isa dahil meron silang sariling line na tinatahak. Here are other examples figures of parallel lines. Here is another example figure. Is this a parallel line? Uh-oh, it's not. Kung inyong mapapansin, kakaiba ito or iba ito sa parallel since nagkaroon ng intersection or nagkasalubong ang dalawang line. Ang point kung saan nagkasalubong ang dalawang line ay tinatawag nating point of intersection. So, ang figure na ito ay tinatawag nating intersecting lines. So, when we say intersecting lines, these are pairs of line that met at one point. Here is our examples. Here is another example figure. Is this an intersecting line? Oh, oh, it's not. But why? Though ang figure ay mayroong point of intersection, ang figure na ito ay may kukonsider natin as a special kind of intersecting lines. Bakit? Dahil nakapag-form siya ng square corner dito. So, therefore, ang tawag natin sa figure na ito ay perpendicular lines. So, when we say perpendicular lines, these are pairs of lines that intersect and form a square corner at their point of intersection. So, hindi siya intersecting line, though nagkaroon ng intersection, pero yung intersection niya ay perfect square. Here are more examples of perpendicular lines. Ngayong tapos na nating ma-identify kung ano ang parallel, intersecting at perpendicular lines, let's try to answer this. Identify the following pairs of line. One, that's right, this is an intersecting lines. 
to right again. This is a parallel lines. And three, correct. It is perpendicular lines. Another activity is study the figure below. Then give what is asked in each item. So number one, how many lines are there in the figure? So let us count. We have one, two, three, four. There are four lines in the figure. Number two, how many pairs of parallel lines are there? So let us see. Oh, there's only one pair of parallel lines. Three, how many pairs of perpendicular lines are there? So, for line LV and line O, we have one. For line LV again and line VS, we have one. Therefore, there are two pairs of perpendicular lines. Four, how many pairs of intersecting lines are there? For line LV and LS, we have 1. For line LO and LS, we have 1. For line LV and VS, we have 1. Therefore, there are 3 pairs of intersecting lines. 5. What kind of lines are LV and LO? It is perpendicular lines. Six, what kind of lines are LO and VS? It is parallel lines. We're done with the activities, so remember, parallel lines are pairs or group of lines that never met at any point. Intersecting lines are pairs of lines that met at one point. And perpendicular lines are pairs of lines that intersect and form a square corner at their point of intersection. That ends our discussion for today. I hope you learned something from it. Thank you for watching guys and once again, I'm Mom C and please don't forget to click subscribe, like and share. Bye!